Hey guys, and uh, welcome back. I'm gonna do a little bit more work on the ya, 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 yawa, jawa. Take your uh, pronunciation as you like it. It's a uh, ya, 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 350, uh, 1979 or 78, kind of on the border there. In the process of trying to bring it back to life, you already got it running. There's videos of that, and uh, now we're going to the point of trying to just kind of clean it up a little bit and get it more zeroed in and road worthy. I've been waiting on some parts to come in. I have some, but not all. Battery I have. I have the new headlight assembly came in that it was that was busted. Uh, one of the YouTubers graciously uh, sent away for the rubber sleeves that go over the chain. They came and two taillights are in. I am still waiting on points and condenser, tune-up parts, and one other thing which I forgot already at the moment but we're getting there the pieces are as i said are coming in we'll get it squared away but i think it will take some time to figure out what we're going to do with the paint and the paint that was on it was the bike was normally red 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 orangish kind of pick your color whatever you want to call that burnt pumpkin <laughs> but we're going to see what we can do about getting the material off that was sprayed on it where the black was all sprayed and see if we can make something out of the original paint uh, originally on one of the other videos, it took some time and took lacquer thinner seemed to be the best combination of taking material off. But the problem is it also started to uh, dissolve the red orange paint that was underneath it. So it's going to end up being a patina bike. So I figure we'll take some time and maybe we'll try wet sanding the black off and wherever the little black bits kind of want to stay, which are probably going to be like in those grooves and all. Maybe we'll just leave it and uh, make that the look of what it is. And this side really just has some scratching done. There's big metal decals that go here. So you only probably see about an inch of the tank all the way around on the sides. But you will see all this. And uh, not a big fan of that gold pinstriping. So hopefully that will be totally gone from the picture too. Let me get you set up in a stand. We'll get this thing sprayed now. We'll try it and we'll see how it works out. We're going to start with maybe some 800 grit. I just have uh, soapy water in a bottle. See it from that. Probably should have soaked the paper ahead of time, but oh well. If anything, it'll be smooth. And what I have it sitting on, I just took a two by four and a piece of wood, screwed them together so we can kind of move it around a little. So I am going to work at this for a little bit. And I will bring you back. I have to wet that some more. I'll bring you back and we'll see what kind of uh, forward progress, progress we get. I'm just kind of working this area. It seems to be doing pretty good, but I'm afraid when I get to the edges, I'm just going to burn the edges all the way around. You guys can see. There you go. I'm afraid I'm going to burn the edges all the way around. So I, I got to figure out a different way to go about trying to get close to here. So I'm going to try. I did end up soaking the paper too. Is we're going to try a part of a paint stick or we'll wrap a paint stick, and that'll hold it flat flatter anyway. Let's see if we can she's a little dry. Might want to bump up to or bump down I guess to something a little rougher than 800. Or maybe try to find a, a fresh piece of 800. Let's just see how this does for us though. Gotta get a wet rag and put a wet rag on top and let it drip down while I'm, while I'm working. Let's 
Yeah, that ain't good. That's the, that's the issue I'm worried about. Well, we'll keep going. See what we get for an end product. Yeah, let's switch over to some 600. See how that does. Let's, uh, let's wipe that off. Seems like it's got a lot of dirt in it. On it. Try it again. I just have like some Dawn dishwashing detergent in with the water. <laughs> what do you think, 220? <laughs> yeah, let's just work a little area for a little bit, see what we get. Gotta work. I do want to set up a wet rag where just plop it on top and let it run down. Might need it a little wet. A little wet. Doesn't look like it's doing much. There it goes. Again, the middle really doesn't matter because that's all going to be covered. It's the outer uh, inch and a half. It's where all the stuff doesn't want to come off. You think you want to try to go a little more aggressive? It's working, but it just seems like I'm going to be here a bit. Seems like there's such a fine line between knocking the black off and getting to the red without going through the red. The black actually seems like it's thicker than the red stuff. Yeah, you, see, you can see how fast it just kind of burns through. How fast it goes through that. Alright, we're going to keep working on that. We'll see what we get. Worst case scenario, we just take a spray bomb and go <laughs> paint it. And it's probably been a half hour playing around with it. It's, yeah, it's not what I want. Not what I expected. Not what I was trying to go for. But it definitely did not want so many of the the bare spots popping through from underneath but like i said the orange is actually softer than the uh the black that was on top i'm not sure what way to go i'm gonna go throw the side cover up on it wipe it down again this covers that much of it I guess you just kind of keep moving forward. We'll put it together. We see how we like it. Worst case is we paint it, right? But it may look good when all the pieces are together. It may not. I just, I can't make a decision up yet. I kind of popped it up on the bike. It's uh, just wet sanded down to 800 grit. But give us kind of an idea. It'll be much, you know, it, I could buff it out real shiny. I can make it, I'm not worried about that part of it. I'm just trying to see if I'm going to like how it's going to look. New gas cap will be on there. I think the one I have is, has a key too. I got to go run out and get some uh, SOS soap pads. I think we'll try kind of cleaning up the rest of it. Knocking some of the crap off. Wash the seat down a little bit. But I think for now, maybe we'll do this side cover. And uh, see how that kind of comes back and how we like that compared to the other stuff and see if it'll kind of tie together. And we're getting there. I taped off the uh, white section 
It's got some masking tape on it. And I, I, I started wet sanding it. It really was fighting pretty hard. So I went back with a uh, lacquer thinner. And that seemed to loosen it up pretty good. Again, still kind of burning through in different areas. But again, now it's going to match the rest of it. I'm liking it better now that that cover is on there. But I think I'm going to go uh, run to Walmart, grab some uh, SOS soap pads. And we'll start cleaning up like the wheels and the chrome. And take the fender off and see if we can kind of get up inside this area. And start bringing some of this back. Hmm. I just got back from Walmart. We got SOS, Brillo, and good old Walmart brand. We'll have a shootout, I guess. Probably, <laughs> probably made by the same people. We'll find out. Uh, two bucks, two bucks. I think a buck. While we're at it, Easter was over, and Halloween candy, Halloween candy, <laughs> Easter candy is 50% uh, off. Let's go shove a peep in a microwave, see what happens. So we're gonna go in that order and we'll do no name sos and brillo we'll see if we get any difference across them i'm expecting not really to see any difference but and we'll wet each one of them down The pink one felt a little different. see any difference at all I'm gonna continue cleaning up I'm gonna go with the uh, the cheapo first I'll see how long that takes to burn up and then I'll move along with the other two to see how long they last in general I have a feeling these two might be made by the same company as you can tell I tore into it a little bit just trying to get these pieces back and I figured I'd just take it apart and clean it get in all the stuff so it's <laughs> We're, we're tearing down. I'm going to lose where all the bulbs go. I started pulling the caps off. I've never seen that before. <laughs> all right. I don't know if that's just a dampener for the fluid or, or what it is. I'm going to get those out and get the tubes out. See if we get these arms off and clean them up separate. Not sure how all that's going to come apart yet, though. We're going to find out. I figured drain the oil out of the shocks and... Replace that. Let's see what we get. We get <laughs> nothing. We get water. There it goes. Some water. I don't see the um any wetness around the top, so the, the seals don't seem like they're leaking. It smells like old gear oil. Not quite sure what they, uh, definitely smells like gear oil though. Let that drip, let's go do the other one. All 
That one's a little dirtier. Okay, at least they're not leaking though. Flip her over. See if any gooiness comes out. Yeah. I think it would have been easier to clean it like that. Let's stop that for a second. think our chances are we can get this guy out without opening the triple tree can I kick out to the side yeah that will definitely be a lot easier one thing it does have is that bend right there not supposed to be in it so you gotta go hammer that out too took a hit at one point you see a little gentle persuasion <laughs> Hit it where that reflector is. Still got a little bit in it. A little right there. Sold. So let's try the no name SOS pads with lacquer thinner. Whoa, whoa. Run away, making a mess. Let's go see how well that kind of dissolves things. sucker is slippery <laughs> yeah, I have a feeling like that stuff is more of a spray paint with a tank seems like it's on there a little harder <clears throat> and it might be more of like a automotive paint and you would think that if it wasn't, if it was spray paint, wherever the gas neck was, you would have saw some of the paint removed because gasoline kind of beats up pretty good on you know spray bomb paint. You guys getting dizzy? I think we're going to continue with that part of it. Get it cleaned up all I can. Probably switch back over to uh, water. And get the rest of it off. So put the front end back together, kind of, and polish the fender up. I like the way that looks. Uh, I'm still in between whether we go forward and we paint it or we just keep moving the way it is. And if I go to buff this out when I start putting waxes and, and you know, cutter and then waxes into it, then I'm going to screw it up if I want to paint it. But right now, it's just pretty much wet sanded down for paint, so it couldn't be done either way. So I'm, I'm going to hold off on that as far as doing that stuff and continue with cleaning it up and i want to see how things kind of even out and from there i could probably make a better decision like these are just going to be just like they are you know whatever the brown is underneath they're not you could probably try to clean that a, a little bit better to get the shiny metal but i think if you do that you're going to start opening all this up too so i think just cleaning it with the uh, soap pads and water like i did it hasn't been polished yet it'll, it'll still polish up but I think that's good for where that's going to see. And that's going to be whether it's painted or not, you know. He's, this is where the pinstriping was. Kind of made it stick a little bit more than whatnot. Whatnot, is that a word? 
Same with the gas tank. You see these two strips on the gas tank. That's where they were. So in a way, I kind of like it. In a way, I'm trying to visualize me painting the orange pieces. Me, I'll maybe blowing in a little black here and there. But if you're going to do that, and like I just showed, the chrome is going to be like it is. I don't know how the case is going to turn out. I don't know how the pipes are going to turn out. So I figure what we'll do is we'll jump onto that stuff. We'll just start getting a general idea, cleaning with the SOS pads, and see, you know, what this is going to look like underneath. We'll, you know, knock some of the crap off the box, and maybe the pipes. And we'll have a better decision from there. I have a feeling it's it's going to stay like this because I think it's fairly going to be weathered all the way across. If you paint one nice and shiny and the rest looks crappy, you know how it just looks mis mismatched unless you're doing everything. But again, we're not going to make that decision until we move forward. Let me get you set up in a stand. We'll spray that down. See how it does. I've been using the cheapos all along. Let's go see how the Brillo, Brillo brand works. Might be wise to get that carburetor off of there. Let's see. This guy's gonna need some too. Hard part's gonna be getting in all those nooks and crannies. What do you think? Wipe it off? See what that's done for us so far? Pretty good, huh? Yeah, I think I'm going to probably pop that. You know, I'll pop that carb out of there. Take this off and soak the whole thing down. We'll try and concentrate on the case, and I'll bring you back see how that looks. All right, so let's see what the pipe has to offer. We could always shoot these black too. And this is the good side. The other side is peeling off in sheets. Like that. It's doing that. I mean, you guys are yelling at me to stop right now, aren't you? It's gonna come off anyway. It's not gonna stay. I think the uh, Corona that was used on was kind of cheap. I don't think they Get all the processes. It's missing the. It's like it's just the chrome. No uh, copper or nickel. I think it's copper or nickel. Yeah, it's just. They. <laughs> Here we go. I think they are gonna go. They're just getting heat painted black. Lifting up on the backside and sheets. Let's wipe her down. Yeah. I should probably have a date with the sandblaster. Get all that off. What do you say we relocate to the front of it? This should be a different story though. This should be more like the fender, I think. I don't want to use any of that fake chrome. Eh, that looks horrible. There was one a long time ago that actually looked halfway decent. They don't sell it anymore. I have a feeling it probably had lead in it, but it actually had a good, a fairly decent sheen to it. It didn't look like aluminum. Not anymore. Let me see a wipe down. 
that'll be fine. I don't know if it splits right here with a coupler, or it's all one piece. I don't feel any clamp on that, so I think that's probably a weld. Now well, that's welded, but I don't see anything on this side. You think that they're just stuck in there? If we could pull them out of that. Yeah, for bolts holds it to the rear your kickstand seems to hold it we got one on the back actually get them both the muffler itself let's go i'm going to kick this thing forward so it's not on it and uh we'll unbolt that back actually i should probably i'm going to try to come up with a piece of wood i'm going to let it down cut a piece of wood so it grabs the the frame not the pipes and we'll bring it back up and yeah, the bolts are out my guess it's all one piece, but let's see. Not the bolt was out. Now it wiggles there. We are bolted somewhere else. Got one more right here. Fighting way too much. You guys got those ratchet wrenches? They're good for some locations, like this. These guys. This one, this has a stand, a Stanley. And let's get a hell of a seal. We need to get it back on. Come on. I want to break it up by the head, neither, you know? There it goes. That's gummy. Probably all that two stroke carbon buildup. Yeah. So now we can kind of wash this thing up with it off the bike. Here's what was happening. Maybe it with a wire wheel. <laughs> See how that does. Yeah, that a paint. So I wash up that pipe. I think we'll go see how well that rust likes the wire wheel. Not gonna make much of a difference. You can't see the copper though. You see, don't have holes in them. Could be worse, right? Yeah. I tap that back on there. What it, I think they do is they paint the whole bike orange because you can see orange even on the frame. The pictures that I pictures that I've seen were like the forks here. Or orange tank the side covers and I think these but again you're trying to go off the internet and who knows what they sold in each location if they maybe uh, made it somewhat different I do believe it was never black the quality of the black that was on there was not done very well you could even see like there was something that happened here the orange underneath and then it was painted black over it so I'm still going with that. <laughs> I don't know about, can you see it on the frame up here anywhere? I'm trying to find a spot where it pops through. Well, anyway, the other side, you know, is not going to fare nowhere near as good. That is much more toasty. 
So it could be sandblasted and painted or again just left alone the way it is. And the front pipe too is beat. So even on this one there's not going to be any chrome left. For some reason it pisses people off when you peel it. <laughs> I got to take it off. It's going gonna, it's gonna to flake off anyway. So we'll get the wrench out there. The wrench that came in the kit. Cracks that loose. We'll get that whole one off of there. Front wheel's got to get cleaned up too. I may, may go screw with that a little. We'll see what we're going to get, but you know, it's probably going to be like the exhaust. I don't think it's going to flake quite as bad as the exhaust, but it's, you know, 40% of it's going to be gone when we're done. I can go clean up that center too. I got to order tires. Can't find them. Three and a quarter by 18 tubed tires. I believe they are the original tires because Someone had wrote what name was on them. I believe that is the what they came with stock. And this tire has a weird. Let me see if the camera's gonna pick it up. There's a chop to the. Hold on a second. There's a chop to the tread. It's like it's right, right high, right there, right there. Let's see if I can get it on the. for it it's got like a weird pattern in the center of it right here you can see it see it right there yeah that's a good spot I'm not quite sure what causes that wheel imbalance I don't know but as long as it's not terribly expensive I'd like to change that out before we uh, put the wheel back on. Now, let's get to doing some scrubbing. Huh? And believe it or not, that is the after. <laughs> She's uh, yeah. You can tell where it's parked in the garage. You know, it's the bottom side where it's touching. And not so bad. And then right back to death. The other side. The other option, I would think, would be to when you change the tires, bring it into the sandblaster, sandblast it, and you know paint the rim. But again, so I decide if I'm going to paint anything or not. I will leave it up in the air. I said I still gotta wait for tires to come in. I'm gonna go look at those tonight. See if what we can find for a front and a rear without being ridiculously expensive. I'm trying to keep the we're on a budget, you know. And then the rear. I might still go with a, the back's a little bigger. The back's a three and a half. The front's three and a quarter. I might go with like, I like that back tire tread. A little maybe a little enduro, enduro type of tread or trail trail tread. Instead of that street tire on the front. Might be a little uh, more up my alley, so to speak. Maybe we'll let it down. And kind of take a look at it. I think that's probably what we're going to end up going with. If the wheels were nice, I'd chase it. If the wheels and the exhaust were nice, the exhaust, you know, we could either wrap it or paint it, but that's probably the uh, drop off point. Nothing's saying it can ever still be done. You know, you get another set of rims, another set of wheels, and another set of exhaust, then you could paint the bike. I think the little bits kind of poking through are going to even out with all that stuff. It's going to show the weather of it. And this all shine up. This all get, you know, buffed out and, and brought up. A little bit more black will probably come off when I do that too. That pipe. Ugh, that pipe is. Yeah, new gas caps coming, so that's not an issue, but. That back fender will look like that front fender. That'll clean up. That won't clean up. <laughs> Again, I'll, I'll see if we can get it off. I'll hit it on a wire wheel or, or hit it with a portable wire wheel.
Now we still have to do this one yet, too. All right, well, I'm calling up for a day. Uh, probably continue this video. I don't think there's that much on here. And if not, till then. So walking around the board is one thing I did find and uh, possibly can work for the front of the pipe is this stuff. I believe it's actually supposed to be ground strap, but it kind of reminds me of those, those Chinese handcuffs, which is that braided hollow tube. And when you choke up on it, it'll fatten up once you open it up. But you get the idea. So I wonder if we can kind of sneak that onto the pipe and have that wrap it. You could even go all the way down with something like that, but maybe just regular uh, exhaust wrap for the rest of it. It might work. Which is a little bit larger so that it stayed more this pattern instead of, I have a feeling it's going to be fairly bunched up to try to make the make the look. Who knows, once it's on there, we pull back on it. it might be okay. So when we take this side off, we'll maybe we'll play with that a little right? Hey guys, it's the next day and uh, unfortunately some unexpected stuff came up that I have to take care of. So I'm not going to be able to work on this for a little bit. So I'm probably going to make this the wrap up to this video. Coming back out, uh, I kind of like it. Kind of do and I kind of don't. Uh, still on the fence about it, but I'm going to continue moving forward the way I am. The tires, I went and looked into them. there would be about $100 a piece. At the minimum of $100 a piece for new ones. So I think I'm going to wait on tires until the motorcycle swap meet comes up. And like I did with the CB350, I was able to grab them for like 10 20 bucks a piece and get some uh, good used ones on there. That's more than likely the uh, way I'm going to go with those. But it's not that big of a deal to take the wheels back off to change them. And uh, that's what's going to happen with that part of it. So with that, guys, I'm going to go cut this one short. I think I got some rat rod quad. ATV stuff, cleanup stuff. I can put on the end of this. We'll have some kind of something running <laughs> to show. But uh, until the next video, I will see you then. Later, guys.